different clubs. Is that's a kick? It's got a stretch home. As there's the half-time siren. Port won the quarter. And it looks like we might have some extra activity post the siren. As both teams not particularly happy, they do share the race. So it'll be interesting to see how umpires keep them separated through this. Who's the instigator? We know it's not one of the Gowans boys. Uh, well, Jake Need and uh, the player there for the Dogs and Nick Holman having a bit to say to each other. And, uh, yeah, it's on, as we said, players coming together now. Billy Frantum in there just to just show some authority. Luke Harbour comes in as well. And, uh, yep, there's a fair bit happening out there, Phil, and some some uh, fists thrown in there by Brett Eddy as well. He caught Llewellyn high. Now it's on again with Nick Holman. Well, we love our passion in the Sandville football. I'm just glad they've still got the energy after a half a footy to still go at each other like this. It only shortens their half-time break. And, of course, the umpires are a little bit powerless because they can't really... It's a bit hard to separate the teams when they've got the same race. And they can't really give a free kick this late. So, finally, sanity prevails. Almost. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, you can see all oh, those watching on the digital pass. It is on again in front of the Port Adelaide race. Brett Eddie and Nick Holman in there. And umpire Toby Medlin's taking his notebook out, Phil. I reckon he saw Brett Eddie strike Ryan Llewellyn across the cheek. And I think Brett Eddie might find himself in the book. And you hear the home faithful getting quite angry and upset with Port Adelaide. And the umpires, they go down the race now. The two teams not separated. Billy Frandon with a blood yeah. from the nose. And there's some passion out there, Phil. Oh, look, Mike might have another rumble in the tunnel at this rate because they're going down together. Not too often, Phil, you see the goal umpires get the race before the players. That's, yeah, I'll tell you what, we talked about these teams being their glory days. That was like a trip back to the 80s. And plenty of Central fans around the race sharing their thought on what's going on and let's hope it doesn't get too out of hand